Alright, there's more to conditional formatting than just putting colors into cells. For example, in sheet CF2, in cell B1, we are being asked to add data bars to the amounts below. Data bars is a conditional formatting tool in MS Excel that puts bar chart-like representation of the data. So, I will highlight cells B2 onwards. Go to Home, Conditional Formatting, and you should have data bars over here where you could select the color that you want. I'll go for yellow, for example. And as you could see, instead of putting a color on the cells, it placed bars instead. So these bars vary or will change based on the value of the cell. So if I change the value of this cell, the bar will become shorter because the value is now lower. Same if I have a lower amount and I increase that value, the bar will also update. So it's a way to make your report visually appealing than just plain colors or than just plain numbers. At least you could see which numbers are high, which uh, municipalities are uh, th that has higher total funds than the others. Now, other tools in conditional formatting, we also have color scales. So I will highlight F2 onwards, same procedure home conditional formatting color scales and you could choose whatever color combination you want here just to demonstrate color scales i'll go for the very first one green yellow red click it and as you could see cells are now colored from green which is the highest then going to the red color which is the lowest and then the shade changes from green to red based on the value so it's like a thermal map something we're in if the amount is low it's greenish in color and if the amount is uh, critical it's red something like that so similar to conditional formatting if you change the values the colors will change depending on the other cells as well last one in conditional formatting tools is icon sets so if I go here, J2 onwards, home, says here, add icon sets, conditional formatting icon sets, and you could choose whichever icon you want. We have arrows, you have traffic light, you have flags, it's up to you. Could, I'll go for traffic lights, this one, and we now have traffic lights in our conditional formatting. Now, a very common question that I get is how does it work? So Excel determines the lower third, the middle third, and the higher third. And it changes color based on the, that condition. If you want to change it, you can. Just go to Home, Conditional Formatting, then Icon Sets. And below Icon Sets, you should see that it has more rules. Now, under more rules, this is where you could change the conditions as to when it turns green, when it turns yellow, etc. So, all of this actually has an option for changing how they behave. So, color scales, there's more rules. You could change how it works. You could change it to three color scale if you want. It's up to you. But just to recap, what we had is first we had data bars and then you have color scales okay and you also have icon sets all of these are meant to make your report visually appealing than just plain numbers in your report